Hi, Pat. Um, here's your analysis. So, this is your scan from March 18th to the scan, which was October 19th the other day, about five months' time. So, just taking a look. Um, you lost 0.9 pounds of water inside your cells and 0.4 pounds of water outside your cells, which is really insignificant. So it was 1.3 pounds of total body water loss. But again, that can happen daily, fluctuate more than that in a day. So that's insignificant. You did only lose 0.7 pounds of muscle cells, a little over half a pound there. And you gained 4.6 pounds of body fat. So if you take a, le a take a look at your lean body mass, you did lose 1.9 pounds total of lean body mass. And that's your water and your muscle cells together. And you gained 4.6 pounds of body fat. So then your net gain there is, um, oh, I didn't mean that, sorry. Your net gain is 2.7 pounds, okay? So taking a look down here, um, body fat went from, 35.4% to 38%, so you did gain 2.6% body fat. And then if, if you're taking a look at your segmental lean analysis, this is what happened with your muscles in this five months. You lost 0 0.07 off of your right arm and 0.16 off your left arm. And you lost 2.1% uh, ability to support your body weight with your right arm and 3.7% ability to support your body weight with your left arm. Okay, so it's at 84 and 85 and it was at 86 and 89. And, you know, a goal is to have those obviously moving to being able to support 90, oh, I'm sorry, 100% of your body weight and more. So a little bit of loss there. Um, a lot of this can be, this gain though can be done with food. So I think, you know, you're frustrated with the injuries and what's going on with the health issues and stuff like that, but you can do a lot of this stuff, fat loss and muscle gain, with food alone. So I don't know if we need to take a closer look at that. All right, so just continuing down here, um, trunk. You lost half a pound of muscle off your trunk and 1.6% ability to support your core. And then your legs didn't lose too much. You lost um, uh, 0.11 pounds off of your right leg and 0 0.07 off your left leg. And you lost 1.3% ability to support your body with your right leg and 0.2% ability to support your body with your left leg. So not too much loss there, but I, you know, we don't want any. All right, now up here, body fat mass, it's more, it's 4.9 pounds more than it was in your last scan. It was recommending 21.6 pounds of loss and six pounds of muscle gain. Okay, so that would have made your, if you were to do that, that would have made your, you know, your net loss at 15 pounds. Does that make sense? So 130. Okay, so now it's 4.9 pounds, recommending 4.9 pounds higher. So 26.1 pounds and it's recommended loss, 26.1 pounds of fat loss and 8.2 pounds of fat, um, muscle gain, muscle gain, not fat gain, muscle gain. So 26.5 pounds of fat loss and 8.2 pounds of muscle gain is the recommendation. So that will put you at about 17, 18 pounds loss. So sitting at, it makes sense, 130. Okay, now this is showing you where you gained the body fat. You gained half a pound on each arm. You gained 1.9 pounds on your core, your trunk. And then you gained 0.8 pounds on your right leg and your left leg. Visceral fat levels didn't fluctuate too much, which is great. It is higher one level than it was. It was at 11. Okay, but 10 and below is considered healthy for that. So you're not far off of that. All right, so yes, some changes did make, some changes were made in the wrong direction, which I think you know. But again, a lot of this stuff can be reversed with proper food. Um, and obviously we know exercise helps that, but, um, we just have to wait to see what the doctor says with that stress test on Wednesday and then we'll take it from there. But I hope this helps and let me know if you need anything else.